Wow. Here we are on the first Sunday in Lent. I don't know about you, but for me, it seems like time is flying. Which makes me think, or rather question, what is so important? What is so important that occupies my time? Questioning this makes me think of the closing line from the Gospel reading for Ash Wednesday. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. When I think about what it is that I treasure, that consumes so much attention and time, it seems to fall down to being aware of a balance between getting caught up in my worldly life and taking the time to strengthen and deepen my spiritual life. In this season of Lent, we are called to search our lives and be willing to let go of anything that is not supportive of building and maintaining our spiritual lives. When we stop and do this, it may become obvious that we too are being questioned and challenged much like Jesus after his baptism. In Matthew's Gospel, we witness the questions and temptations Jesus is going through in determining who he is and what his role is in the world. Here, I think we witness Jesus' discerning what is really important and how his everyday humanity relates to his relationship with God. So here, in this season of Lent, is the time to remind ourselves and the world what is most important, most significant, and most meaningful to our existence as humans and spiritual beings from God. Lent is a time to deliberately observe ourselves and sincerely have the desire to become more aware of the many distractions that dominate our attention and occupy our time and energy. And then deliberately fast from the busyness or let go of the attachments to distractions. The word Lent comes from the Germanic word for springtime. Perhaps it can suggest a time for spiritual spring cleaning. It may be thought of as a time for taking a spiritual inventory and then cleaning out or letting go of those things which hinder our relationship with Christ and our service to him. Lent offers a unique time and structure to slow down, observe, and take an inventory of our values, thoughts, and actions. Lent is a time to identify distractions that may be hindrances to discovering God's way for us. Perhaps in attempting to determine and set priorities, we could learn from the tips for decluttering from the popular Japanese organizing consultant and author, Marie Kondo. One of Kondo's basic rules of tidying up is to hold an object and ask the question, does this bring me joy? Using a closet 
as a metaphor for our minds being stuffed and overflowing with ideas, worries, and outdated concerns which dominate and distract our thinking, we might need to do some mental housekeeping, making space for spiritual growth. Or another method to consider was devised by Thomas Keating, the founder of the Centering Prayer Movement and Method. Keating uses a river as a metaphor for the human mind. The surface of the river represents ordinary consciousness that we use to attend to daily life. Our everyday ideas, thoughts, commitments, and activities are like boats floating on the surface of the river. The deepest depth of the river represents our spiritual self and the divine presence in us. Using this metaphor metaphorical image, I challenge you to take this Lenten season to make the choice to let go of attachments or to get off the boats of all the things of life that keep you on the surface of the river. I encourage you to be willing to delve deep below the surface toward discovering your true spiritual self. I encourage you to let go of your normal comfort zones, to let go of fear and impatience, to let go of wanting to be in control, let go of a sense of entitlement, let go of an attitude of negativity, or apathy, or busyness, or pride, and allow yourself to relax into the way of the Lord, as it is the most important thing to do, and pursue it as a way of life. Paradoxically, it is not until we can let go and get all our personal and worldly stuff out of the way that we can even begin to conceive of our true spiritual self and become open and willing to discover God's will for us. So during this season of Lent, may you take the time and express a sincere desire to get to know God. Clean out the excessive clutter of your worldly mind. Patiently look for God's guidance and be willing to explore below the surface of your everyday existence so that you may discern your true self in relation with God. Amen.